So you're probably one of those lucky people who got an email from Kuna saying to disconnect your NAS from outside world, uh, disable the ports and, and things like that. So you probably were thinking like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> should I keep queuing up or should I just get something else? Something that doesn't, which is more secure. But in this situation, queuing up is just not communicating very well with you. So it's not as, as bad as it, as it sounds. So they are saying, yes, disable the ports uh, and port forwarding and EPNP things to connect directly to your NAS because there are so many NASs that have um, things like default passwords, default usernames and, and the ports are very insecurely uh, forwarded so everyone from outside world could connect and, uh, and other things. So I'll, in this video I'm going to talk about three things you can do to to keep your NAS connected to the outside world so you, because this is why you bought your NAS you want it to connect to your NAS from wherever you are because otherwise you would just get a cloud solution so the first thing to do is if you want to keep it connected to your internet and uh, and, 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 and keep the ways keep it the way it was uh, with port forwarding in that case you need to just make it more secure so make sure that in QNAP settings you have a extra protection layer which is uh, detecting faulty passwords like wrong passwords typed in so whoever is going to type in uh, the wrong password for four times or five times they'll be locked out their IP will be locked out or the username will be locked and they won't be able to send a robot uh, multiple thousands of millions of possible combinations of passwords until they break through your system so that would be the first thing the second thing is um, connect using uh, QNAP um, like a quick one I guess they, they call it cloud link because what that means is that they are enabling this connection between your NAS and their QNAP on server multiple servers um, which means that no one else could connect to the NAS, only their server. So same like they're getting updates, the server connects, so they have their tunnel. And with this cloud link, <coughs> you have an access to this uh, server in the middle, like proxy server. <coughs> it's all encrypted and secure. So first you'll need to authenticate yourself to get into the server in, uh, in the QNAP data center. And then through that point, you'll come down to your NAS so you have a little, a little private tunnel um, downsides of this thing is that there are so many people connecting this way so it might not be the fastest way to connect to your NAS but if all you need is um, getting access to your files maybe upload something download something it's gonna be fast enough to do that um, when you do that the other thing is it depends as well on the location where you are so if you are somewhere nearby QNAP's data center, probably the proxy server is going to be faster. If it's further away, it's, it's probably slower. Um, this uh, that's the second thing you can do. Uh, connect through the proxy from QNAP instead of allowing all the traffic into your home by uh, opening ports. And the third option is um, something called end connect. So you create a private tunnel between your NAS and dozens if not thousands of proxy servers in the world which comes down to your uh, PC or phone whatever so what happens then is that it's um, there are like thousands thousands of nodes out there in the world as they call it they use it like for Bitcoin like um, cryptocurrency mining and stuff like that but they the same module the same um, software what they had created they are using now as well for connecting uh, uh, QNAP NASIS or Synology NASIS as well in fact so that's what you can do you can connect um, through those nodes so in, what you need to do is you need to install a and connect software on your phone on your PC so before you can you'll be able to connect to the NAS you'll need to link it to your phone so the phone will be serving like a key and then when you install a VPN app on your 
laptop if you want to connect that way uh, you will be using your phone to authenticate so you create this little <coughs> uh, private tunnel why this is the best uh, probably way solution well it's not free the same way I need to mention is that it's still gonna be you'll be achieving the best speed because there are dozens and dozens and probably thousands of uh, proxy servers out there that means that wherever you are it doesn't matter your speed will not be affected so I was doing tests as well myself and I was maxing out uh, my upload speed and my download speed for the internet so which means that connecting through this and connect through those nodes there is no really speed limit there isn't it doesn't matter how many people connecting more people are using this is probably speeding all this uh, network up um, so that that the speed the speed thing is a very important the second thing why would you choose that is um you're gonna be kind of mapping your network drive to your laptop but you're gonna be accessing over the internet so if you would use QNAP uh, or um, CloudLink to connect to your NAS you would have just a link to get into their uh, operating system in, in their web management system so you could access those files or if you use your app you could connect uh, with video app or file app or music app <coughs> through that link but you could not use your NAS as a uh, external drive for example as a network drive you, so with quick connect you create this virtual tunnel which means that you will be connecting your NAS to your net local network or your computer to, to a NAS network so it appears it's all locally uh, accessible even though it's just across the internet somewhere on the other side of the world so you will be um, when you go to open my computer you'll be seeing your NAS as a network drive down there so you can do copy you can do paste you can link it to your software if it's photo editing software or any other software you need to link this drive to you can just act as that drive was right here in your home so that's really the most important thing the convenience because that will appear as a local drive there in the local network uh, downside is that you need to pay for it they, they charge you per gigabyte or something but um, yeah that's the probably the fastest the most secure and the easiest way to access your data the second thing was uh, using CloudLink you know CloudLink using a few of the proxy servers and the first thing if you still want to keep your ports open to your NAS home make sure you don't have passwords too weak usernames default like admin and stuff like that and uh, you have some brute force protection in place I hope this video was helpful and uh, if you've got any questions about the NAS you can always go to NAS Compares and find a form on the right hand side, fill that form and if the questions will be interesting we can shoot also a video so we can help you and others as well. Cheerio!